Hello everyone, it's time for Shadow of Judgment time. Yes, okay, so. Let's see what sign is up first. Everyone, this is for October, what the fuck is today? The 11th? The 18th. Because one plus seven is eight. So the 11th to the 18th of October of this current year. Who are we reading for? Earth signs, you're first up. Earth signs, this is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away it goes. And away we go. Boop, boop, boop. Do yesterday. Let's see. Taurus, you're up first. You get the King of Cups. He's reversed, so he's being a selfish dick. Right? And then we have the lovers over here. Hmm. So let's see. And we're trying to work on something. La 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 la. He's kind of turned his back on this bizarre or home setting and these lovers over here for some reason, Taurus. You know. No run to do anything else but go over yonder. Hmm. There's a lot of injustice going on with this relationship apparently too. And a separation to boot. Aye. Yeah, they, like, this part, like, whoever this King of Cups is, mind you, cross watch your switch where you need to. Um, Taurus, whoever this King of Cups is, is like, he'll go and fight and do whatever, but when it comes to y'all, there is no rest for him. He'll be restless in order to, um, avoid this entire scenario. And for a particularly very selfish reason, right? Gotta look at your options when it comes to all this shit. Oh dear, yeah. And here's his counterpart, the Queen of Cups, and she's just pissed and has her back turned like motherfucker, you know? Uh, she might be keeping the feelings about what's over here, where this relationship went to shit because there was some um, bad justice, bad karma going on with the Justice card reverse. Could be dealing with the Libra as well. Where they were sh either sh there were either particular options or somebody was an option or someone was like too busy looking at their options to know what was in front of them and that's why um, this relationship seems like I don't know it's almost like This Queen of Cups is looking over everything that's gone on with this dude over yonder. And now she's staring at her cup being like, hmm, maybe I should go for this pentacle instead. So what's with this pentacle, y'all? Because I feel like this Queen of Cups is really upset with how this relationship went sour. It's almost like, um, there might even be another relationship that's of more value, which is a better option and leads to the Ace of Pentacles. What's up with this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus, please? It could be a new love, new leash on life, but someone isn't trying to communicate that shit. Someone's being, possibly being even a little bit more arrogant with their feelings, too. Um, they do want to say that they want to come out of guard, but they're not speaking. You know? They're trying to deal with their own heartbreaking situations in order to get a new cup presented to them. It could be this water sign all over again. Might be wanting to present love, but they are communicating that shit. Um, not allowing any guards to go down in order for broken hearts to be mended. So now a new cup's going to eventually come in once the hearts mended up, Taurus. So that's what we got it's for you, Virgo. It's your turn. Let's see what's coming up for y'all, Virgo. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll put this back. 
because I don't feel like I haven't started shuffling yet. Okay, well, you know, it's whatever. We'll just spit it out. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Reverse, Six, oh no, that's a Seven, that's a Seven. Seven of Wands, Reverse, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, King of Wands. Mm. Someone's bothered at night, but during the day they look damn good. Just on her throne, just being like, I, I'm tortured on the inside, but you'll never know, you know. Meanwhile, this King of Wands over here is kind of looking over her. Um, I feel like he wants to give up on something or wants to give in in some conflict where he feels like people and him have advantages. He's trying to judge accordingly and he's looking over at his queen like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you haven't slept for so many days. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. It's not like you got bags under your eyes, but you look physically tired. Why are you so physically tired, bitch? What are you doing? Where are you going? It's like he wants to give up and actually, I can't tell if he wants to give up on his assessments just yet. Or, he's, or if he's giving up and starting to try to assess and judge what's going on. Because over here, someone wants their brain not to be all kerflunkled and they're willing to leave in order to establish that they'll go to calmer waters rather than wait for someone to take them to it. Yeah, this Queen of Wands right here, like, she might not be trying to cooperate with people because she can't sleep for some fucking reason. Dude over here, he's just like, I'm taking my cup and my stupid fish. We're leaving. We're going to better places. This king, and then, like, here's the King of Cups, right? He may be the one who's deciding to leave just because the page is over here, right? And he's looking over here like, I'm so dead inside. Nah, you know. But still trying to judge accordingly, and it looks like he's turned his vision, this King of Wands, to the King of Cups to look forward rather than back. Wanting to take action for things of the past, but instead moving forward without any realization. Like, I think he does want a new beginning with somebody, Virgo. But there are opportunities elsewhere. That could be you trying to come out of this as a student to start learning something different or new. That way you can kickstart stuff off. Like, I feel like you want a clean slate on this side. And you, I, I feel like you wouldn't love wherever it is you were going, either Virgo. If this is you or your cross watcher, whichever works you. But it's kind of like, you, you're you not sure about how you're going to feel about shit. Because, you know, earth signs and change. We're not good with change. But, you would do your due diligence to uh, make it work. I feel like, this week. What's up with your queen of wands? Why isn't this bitch sleeping? You know? Because I feel like she and the king are two different people. I think that you're more of the kings right here. And that's why you're going in as a student. Where she, um, she's got issues with working shit out. And I feel like you do want to try to give her a clean slate. But on the other hand, it's like you have to emotionally turn your back to the scenario. She's looking to you. You're looking at her. Then you look away from her. And then you just keep looking away from her. Like, no, no, yeah. Like, I want to go, but I don't want to go. What's up with this bitch? What's wrong with her? Why is she having a hard time sleeping? There's something she ain't saying, ain't fighting for, which is trying to come back in from the cold. She might think, like, this Queen of Wands, whoever she is, um, a Virgo, I think that she thinks you're more of a liability than you are an asset. Like, she runs from you whenever you try to follow her, but now she's looking at you for judgment. And we earth signs tend to be really good with assessing shit. Like we we thrive in common sense. I don't know, like practical shit, right? Which is just like, uh leave me the emotions. Jesus Christ, I can't do this stuff, you know. But this person like possibly walks away from you like you're a liability, I feel like. Which was, you know, a wrong idea to do. They might have given you the wrong idea. They might not have even been moving with their own sense of clarity. They probably were just confused as fuck, too. Um, but that's okay, because this cycle is going to be ending. I think you're going to somewhere different. Yeah, yeah, you are. 
You're going somewhere different where you could actually find some love. Yeah, I feel like you might have given in to this person a little bit too, Virgo. Or you might. Um, trying to get them to turn around a little bit, but they're not going to do that until you're finally, you know, uh, like your demand, like you could demand shit all day. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an overbearing mother, unfaithful spouse, just somebody who's very demanding of shit. This person could expect a lot from you, Virgo, or you could expect a lot from them. And that might not be a good thing. You know, someone who demands a lot of a person to the point where they walk away when they start feeling like a liability, only to come back after a time for um, your judgment? No. No, no, no. You might be confused even at the beginning about what's going on, too. You might not even know this is what they initially are coming back to you for until you start getting into it. And then you realize, ah, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Like, at that point, like, you're no longer, like, feeling really iffy about it. You'll have full confidence to move forward this week, Virgo. All because someone did the exact same shit that pissed you off in the first place, I feel like. Good deal. Capricorns! Assemble! It's your turn. Let's see what's going on for your week. What's coming up for this week in October for us? Okay, that was terrible drumming, but whatever. I don't care. I am awesome regardless. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, something might not be moving forward or you're dealing with a very, very mad cancer, Capricorns. In a third party situation that led to a breakup? Either you're swinging or someone's swinging on you or there's just a cancer in general who could be swinging. Who knows? This is a lot of fucking emotion. What did I say about emotions? <laughs> mm. I just hit my fucking tooth off my cup. God damn it. Damn you, Cancer. <laughs> Not really. I'm just fucking around, man. Okay, let's see. What else, Capricorns? Hmm. Ah! What is this, Caps? Is this another... Okay. You are somebody you're dealing with, which I feel like this is more like somebody you're dealing with. It's always somebody, Capricorns. It's always somebody. I swear. Someone's always coming at you for some fucking shit. Not that for some reason it doesn't deserve so, but it's like, Jesus Christ, man, give us a break. Let's see. Mauling over shit, holding out strength on stuff. Hmm. Capricorn, someone is sad. About your ass. <laughs> like a lot. Hmm. But I don't know entirely what's up right here, Capricorns. What did I say in your mid-October? You guys are probably getting the bonus because you're under the highest anyway. Not as high as it could be, but still pretty high. What did I say in yours? Like, basically, there's going to be something here to see from a distance. But you're going to get involved once it starts hitting your moral triggers or some shit. Or you'll get involved once you start realizing something is unfair or whatever. I don't know. Capricorns are like that. We don't deal in justice. We deal with fairness. Like, if you fucking bite me, I'm biting you back. And I'm biting you harder so you know how to do it right. That's how it goes sometimes. Is, is it mature? No. But who cares? <laughs> mm. However, Capricorn, either you or the person you're dealing with is like in I'm smash people's heads at the library. No fucking reason. But someone's just doing it. They're, it's like they're just... They're not moving forward. They want to fight against stuff. Um, they'd rather shit stay the same with the chariot re reversed up here, right? So that's what this person's kind of trying to do. Um, and, but they're doing that because they're sad about um, possibly losing an empress, right? And Capricorn, you're over here, too. And it's almost like... I don't know, it's almost mirrored. There are three over here, there's three over here. There's a person mulling over some fucking cups, there's a person petting the kitty. There's a bitch over here on the throne, there's a bitch over here on her throne. It's almost like the exact same thing, with the exception of the middle and like the two probationary periods down here, right? 
But someone sat over an empress. Like, there was an open door. Y'all could have gotten married. Um, but there was a magician reverse over here. And I feel like someone failed to manipulate a much younger empress. Because this is the empress when she's a young girl. You know, this is when she's first growing up. This is her as a full-grown, fledged um, empress, adult lady. Like she's grown, she's in her throne. This is this is her just playing in her dad's garden, just fucking with the animals, just being like, I'm gonna teach this bird how to keep an apple on its head, and then I'm gonna teach it how to fly. Maybe it already knows how to fly, but I can make it fly prettier with rainbows and shit. You know, like she's all in the girly stuff. But it's almost like somebody failed to manipulate this empress to giving the cup up so this door would open. I'm not sure. But there's something here that leads to someone's happiness or possibly dealing with a Leo, right, Caps? Um, third party situation led to a breakup. But strength cards here, and it might be either someone had to embrace their animal side be like uh, a pet over and be like, what the fuck is in your mouth? Open your mouth. Open it. You know, like it just being like, what's in there or whatnot. But they're trying to keep the mouth closed more than anything, really. So it might not be that situation. But somebody I feel like kept their mouth shut when it came to something about you, Capricorns. Or maybe that was you. Because this is your card. Could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Taurus. But y'all are already up here anyway. Something about completing a show. I feel like. Why was this magician try, uh, trying and failed to manipulate the young empress in the Nine of Pentacles? That's what I want to know. To give up? It's always my give up card. Giving in. I'm giving in to you. No fish for you. Hmm. What? Did someone want the young Empress to lose her composure? Okay, well, whatever. During the show. Why did I call that a show? I don't know. In order to halt progress and keep someone being a martyr. What the fuck? Okay. Cap Capricorns, either you or a person you're dealing with. I don't know who's being Jake right now, but I don't appreciate it. But someone's acting really shady, like real greasy shit, right? Feeling like they want to come in and start arguments with somebody because they can't get over it. the Empress growing up and getting on her throne. Uh, tried to manipulate her into giving love out. And the reason why they did that is because they wanted her to yield, to lose her fucking shit and composure and act immature and stuff during some sort of show. Because I keep getting show. I don't know why I hear show with the ton of pinnacles, but it's like a show. Uh, it's more like a bazaar slash somebody's house at a marketplace or whatever. They set up every day or some shit. But it feels like a show. Uh, in order to halt progress and then come out looking like a martyr and shit. I don't like that. I don't like that Capricorns and Cross Watchers. But that's what's coming up for your week. Everybody, that's the end of the read. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. You don't have to do that. But uh, I would definitely fucking love you for it. Like, doubly love you. No, right. Um, I am doing personals, but I'm going to take a break for a few days from taking any more. So hit me up like Wednesday if you end up wanting a personal read for me because I just need a break. <laughs> so um, I'm down to my last few. So I just need that little bit. But I will talk to you guys later. I love your face. You take it easy. Bye-bye.